Oh, this is Mono Greg's dad's shirt. <laughs> How'd you come to wearing that? Because they call it Big Country, I guess. So they gave it to me. How'd you, oh, so they, got, they gave it to you? Yeah, Papa Kimo. Nice. <laughs> um, you, uh, you guys, the game looked perfect for the first 20 minutes from an outsider's perspective, other than that fumble and that first touchdown. Mm -hmm. um, when you guys go back to watch the tape, could you find what, what did you find, I guess, to work on in, in those first 20 minutes? Uh, we have a lot of uh, recognition errors that we need to address, uh, different defensive fronts. Uh, we, as a group, need to uh, uh, communicate better. I mean, it was a hostile environment. It wasn't as loud as we thought it was going to be. But uh, we still, you know, had to obviously had some false starts and stuff like that. We need to communicate better with the running backs, what we're doing and stuff like that. So those are the only really big issues. You know, they were a great defense, great team, you know, and uh, so we just got a lot to work on, but it'll be fine. We know about the win the day mantra. It's obviously um, you know, important every week and this week with Colorado coming in. Uh, you know, probably no more so this week than any other, more so this week than any other at least. Um, mm -hmm. How is that easy to, to, to do, to not worry about? Yeah, it may, it's easier to do because it's a daily thing. You know, it's not you don't have to look, you know, at Colorado and then you got to look down the road and then you look at SC. You know, you're just looking. Okay, we have this game that we're gonna have dominate this week, and the next week we're gonna try to do the same thing, dominate. You know what I mean? Every day, you focus on you know that day and then winning that day. You know, and not just getting through the day, but actually you know dominating and killing the day basically do you have to tell young guys do you have to vocally i guess describe that to young guys no not really because our young guys understand that uh you know in, in any game there they can be in you know it doesn't matter who we play arizona you know uh fresno state big you know not good schools you know they're, they can be in the game you know any week because uh we're just a, such a high-powered offense you know so they they understand it too and if they if they're not on the same page they're gonna get left behind you know they'll be jogging we'll all be running around they'll be a whole nother time zone, so. And the same thing goes with the rankings and not worrying about that. Um, and we know how you guys are internally, but everyone has friends and family, and people, fans are upset of her, puzzled by the number four BCS ranking. Did you get any calls, any texts last night from people? Yeah, I get calls all the time, a bunch of text messages, people blowing up uh, social media sites, you know, about it. But it, I actually, until you just said it, I didn't even know. That we we're number four, so I didn't even I wasn't paying attention at all because at the end of the day, you know, it's it, we we just gotta really feel like you said win the day, and then we're gonna keep winning these games and pick our heads up in December and see where we're at. What do you have to tell the people that, that write to you or call you? Like it, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I just down. I just say I don't care. You know, I just don't care, and I, and I just don't respond a lot of times because there's so many of them. You know, so I just don't respond. So if you're watching this and I didn't respond to you, I'm sorry. I just there's so many I didn't I couldn't get to them. So. Do you think it'll all work itself out? Kind yeah, of? yeah, it'll all work itself out. You know, we're not we're not worried about it, so it'll be fine. Um, Colorado, I don't know how much film you've been able to watch of them. Um, if you've been able to watch good stuff, what, what do they do defensively? Um, they have, you know, they have a, a, a young uh, inside D tackles and they have older DNs. You know, uh, I was playing tackle last year against them. Their DNs were, were really good. Uh, you know, they. Um, they scheme and they have the same defense corner as, as last year, you know, and stuff like that. So we just got to watch a lot of film. Uh, there's a lot of good film that we can watch on them and study hard, you know, and, and uh, I feel like being at home is going to be a big advantage, you know. Tough place to play out in Boulder, so uh, it's going to be a big advantage for us. Did you, uh, you know, not that it's going to affect this game at all, but did you feel the altitude last year? Oh, I really felt the altitude, yeah. My dad played at Wyoming, uh, and so he always told these stories, you know, about, you know, 5,000, how many, ever many feet, and then they're they're playing Colorado it's the same way, you know. And I was like, ah, oh, it doesn't really matter. But when you're a lineman, you know, and you're 320 pounds and you're running around with no air, it's like I remember running on the field and we just I got to like the 50 and I started jogging. And I was like, dude, like, this is rough, you know. So that was fun. Nice to not have to go up there. This yeah, time. yeah. How much do you remember? You, know, you mentioned they play the same. Or they assume they play the same scheme and the same defensive coordinator. How much are you able to remember of the stuff you learned last year? Because you, you learn about a team for a week, mm -hmm. and then you got to go on to the next one and the next one. How much are you able to remember about that team that you learned about that you basically crash studied for from one week a year ago? Are you able a year to ago? remember that a year yeah, ago? Yeah, I can remember that because that was uh, – you know that was a big game for us. You know, and 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 actually, when you go back and you you jog your memory, okay, we're playing Colorado again this year. It just sparks 
okay, I remember they ran this front last year and they brought him in the box, you know, and that, you know what I mean? So it gets it gets easier in that way to where you you really remember what happened in the game last year. Because it's such a big deal, you know? Fans watch the game and stuff, but when you're in the game and all that pressure and, and stress, you know, and, and your inner frustrations and anger coming out, so many emotions that your, your mind does forget that, you know? So you remember certain plays or defensive fronts, so, you know. Cool, man. Yeah.